Hello again and welcome back to Doom. We just finished Command Control. We are entering the Phobos Lab! Episode 1, Mission 5. And Marine Guy is still with us. Oh, we're full on the shells. <laughs> 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 Axe-wielding scientists! Ah! Oh, yeah, shit. I'm still not so fantastic at positioning. But I wanted to dodge, and then I hit a wall. What the fuck was that? Pardon my French. Right? Oh, another option that this mod gives us, which I use sparingly because I do try to be civilized about things. And I find excess swearing just gets me caught in a mindset I don't like. But you sparingly... Fuck yourself! That attitude can sometimes be helpful to deal with malcontents like these guys. You know, if they were to go off and fuck themselves, they might not have the time left. They might be happier and they wouldn't feel such an aggressive need to murder people. You know, feed your life or your death. That, well, you know, that's what you do when you, well, get off by yourself. You're feeding your life, as opposed to spreading death. So in that sense, I have definitely encouraged these guys to... Fuck yourself! Kaboom, Roddy! Time for a different gun. To save some ammo, and also make room in case I find ammo for these boys. Uh. Oh! Oh, give me my shotgun. There! Then press the right button, Gimli, and the game will give you your shotgun. That is true! Other part of me. Always reload when you have a free moment. That's a good habit to get into in such games. Don't want to get caught without ammo when you have a zombie in front of your fucking face and in front of your barrel. Uh, key hunt! Yes! And we hunt the key, then we open this door, and then somewhere up behind there we press buttons to open that door. Well, over yonder. I hear beasties growling in the distance. Where do we go? Here? Oh, I'm still building the map of this level in my mind. Oh, I remember. Somewhat. Wait a minute. Oh yes, we go here, then that walkway raises. Ori Willard already did that. And then we go over the walkway. Go, go, go. Well. What? Surround sound made that. Fuck yourself! Well, here, have a grenade. Pinky on the brain, it's Pinky and his brain. His brain splatters across all of the walls or something. That's very improvised, I know. Well, you know, if given when facing horrible demons, why are you so merry about slaying demons, Gimli? You might wonder. That's very grim and brutal. Yes, I agree, dear viewers. And I would still rather sing a merry song whilst doing this than get, you know, fussy or uptight or grim myself. Just because, you know, your life throws grim shit at you doesn't mean you have to get grim about it. Is my attitude anyway. And I find that that helps me change my life for the better. Enough said! Where are they? These malcontents. Oh, I know what this situation warrants. Ah, ambush! I... Okay, that doesn't go as well as it could have, but also not as bad as it could have. And of course, this difficulty is still relatively forgiving. I'm now doing the cleaning again, because this is an opportune moment. I have my back to the wall, and I can see every angle. So no gankage. Don't need to waste rockets when you can pick them off one by one. That's easy. Ow! Although, 
also is a balance between do I spend my ammo or health. You're gonna get hit sooner or later. And the better weapon you use, the more... Like, this baby is good at protecting your health. Best offense, good defense, and all that. Alright! But... Normal. There's also another secret we can discover behind there. Want to blow that barrel now, because... More malcontents showing up! Never doing well. Up to no good. Ah! Well, that, those da guys dance is done. Their dance has been ended. And now we continue. Grabbing the loot, then we press the buttons, and then we continue. Backtrack a bit. Ah! Not the best estimation on my part. bit higher. Just a little higher. Ah, too high! Well, at least I can press the button. At least we took, have taken care of that. Alright, blah, 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 blah. Ah! Well. <laughs> Herp derp and all that. There we go. And of course you must be able to do it with just your momentum because Originally, Doom didn't have a jump button. I don't think those were there in the original. I was already here! Derp! I need to go there. And we also open up the next secret. And the next... Marble. So-called... So... Oh, yes. Again, registration of the se secrets is a bit finicky, but oh well. Hey there, bad boy! Already got that one in the pocket. Oh yes, I remember. If I recall correctly... And pick up another secret. Daka daka. Aha! Ah, uh. oh, there's our buddy. And the way has opened. Fuck yourself! They're for reals, guys! Do something that makes you happy rather than make another miserable. Assholes. I mean, I'm. Land of talk, more action. Oh, yes. And another secret next to the switch. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. We exit the secret area. I'm not sure I remember correctly what happens here. Just in case, let's blow up the barrel preemptively. Just in case. Sometimes ambushes open behind you. And I would rather stay on my toes than memorize everything and act only from road memory. You don't always have that luxury of exact foreknowledge of what's gonna happen. That's not how life works. Ah! The boom lottie. Mormon. So that is finally shot. Oh, you go and there. Oh, pardon my French. Oh, you carried away a little there. Just a tad more than I care for. Uh, dark se dark sequence. Boom. Uh, <laughs> An 
even this is good training, but I practice paying more attention when the light is on! Oh. You can't see shit in here, Captain! Well, when the light... When the light blink is at its optimal, I tend to focus my eyes more. And of course, you can recognize the specters by their glowing eyes. We'll just, you know, shoot them between the eyes. Okay, time to switch guns. These also do fine for spraying bullets in a close and confined space. I notice that when my attentional resources go to dancing this dance and staying alive, I have less attention for words. I still do my best. Oh, sad guys couldn't multitask. I'm playing the game and narrating at the same time. Now there is a hidden secret somewhere. Here, I think. It was here. Yes, here we are. And here they. Now I've cleared the room, and now I find night vision goggles. Temporary night vision goggles. Ooh, what have we here? Another secret. And another... Ha! Let's rock indeed. Oh yes, that's an Unreal Tournament 99 quote. Where does this go again? Oh. Teleport you a pentagram. Hmm, okay. Two? Oh, sometimes I just like to take screenshots of interesting things in the game. Anyway. Where, whatever the case may be. Blah. Um, hold on. Think, Gimli. Think! You can do it. I know. Not my forte, but I do my best. Then this way. Yes, yes, yes. With a bit of forethought, we can get there. Interestingly, in English they say, be careful. In Dutch they say, do, vo do voorzichtig. Act with foresight, if you translate literally. Interesting. Interesting, em different emphasis. Uh, where were we going next? Uh, oh, at least the game teaches you to operate in both careful attention to your environment and... Staying alive. Staying alive. What are your... Uh, Oh boy, oh the switch, and then I guess, oh, yes, the stairs down. Herp the derp. Ah, yes. Obviously, we've been here again, already. Still night vision goggles, wow, they last a long time. And that's Phobos Lab finished in 12 minutes and 57 seconds. Oh, that's the total time spent on this playthrough so far, I take it. Ah, that's good enough. And anyway, again, thank you for joining me. If you enjoy this content, like and subscribe and encourage me to keep producing this content. It does also gives me great satisfaction knowing that people enjoy my performances. I have been Gimli Captain at this here channel. And see you next time, you beautiful mad lads and mad ladies. Uh, Gimli out.